All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove these genuine carbon fiber links from the Pataka watch strap that they have made for the Apple Watch. So I did a video on this watch band here uh, about three or four days ago. So you can follow the card up above if you wanna watch that. But in the video, I did say that I would do a separate video on how to remove these because I'm sure if you bought this, you're gonna find out that it's not the easiest thing to do. I pride myself in understanding how to remove watch straps because I have this killer tan line as you can see here. So I don't think I've literally been watchless since middle school. I wear watches every day uh, and I know how to remove watch links, but this one gave me a little bit of trouble, but after playing around with it for a couple of minutes, I figured it out. I think really the instructions are what kind of confused me a little bit. And not to say the instructions are like really hard to follow, but it should have given you a few more pointers on what to do. But rest assured guys, watch this video and I will show you. So let me go ahead and point down to the table here and let's get an up close look at the tool that you get provided from Pataka to remove these. And I'll show you the instructions and I'll show you the trick that helped me. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now I have the watch off and have everything sitting here in front of you. So first thing that I want to do is actually remove one of the straps. So that way it's a little bit easier when I'm messing around with this so it's not just clinking against the table. So I'm just going to pop this one off. So as you can see, it's really easy to do. So now I have this side here. And on the side, you can see the holes where the pens are. So you have holes on this side and holes on this side. And so basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is use the SIM card or SIM ejector tool that they provided, which that's all it is, right? It's just a simple little ejector tool. It's got some Pataka branding on it. So it's kind of cool, you know, a little bit better than my basic one I have at home. Um, but you're gonna basically push it in both sides. So just to show you real quick, I actually took it out. The paperwork that comes with it shows you here step by step on how to do it, but it doesn't really just give you verbal instructions or little tips and tricks when you're doing it. It just shows to put it in one side, put it in the other, boom, it pops off. And unfortunately that's not the case. It doesn't just exactly pop out that easily. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick kind of the trick that helped me. So I'm just gonna do this one here so that way I can just kind of remove this and pop it back in very easily. So what you're gonna wanna do is push in this whole one here. And what I did is as I'm pulling out, I start to pull this portion up that is above the one I'm trying to release. And as you can see here, it starts to lift this side up. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. And then there you go. So the trick is, is to pull what is above. So as you can see here, I was trying to remove these two here with this hole here with the, where the uh, pen is. But what you do is once you push that one in, just kind of put a little tug to it. So that way it is starting to release that pen and it will stay in place. And then when you flip around to the other side, boom, you push it in and it pops right out. And it's real easy to do and the pens are super, super small. I'm gonna try to grab it here real quick. Um, because one thing I want to point out guys is they're tiny as you can see here and they do fly out. Uh, when I was doing it the first time, uh, this thing like, like flew across the room and I had to find it. Uh, so make sure you're kind of cupping it with your hand maybe or something like that. So that way it doesn't just fly out. Now, as you see, when I did it here, it didn't really fly out. It just kind of fell, but I can promise you guys, it definitely has flown out before a bunch of different times because I did end up removing about five links uh, from the watch and actually ended up using one of the thicker links that was provided to be able to give me that little bit extra length, um, but I still had it nice and snug on my wrist. So it's real easy. Like I said, you literally just push those pins in on both sides and then as you're doing it, just start to kind of just pull and put a little bit of pressure on there so that way once it starts to release boom, it pops right out and it's real easy and then the way to put it back in is also real easy which let me grab this pen here real quick if I can there we go like I said they're super tiny um, but literally you just put it back in the hole that's what she said um, but as you can see there you just push it in and then the way to put it back on is basically just kind of put it at an angle here. 
So as you can see here, I have it angled. And as you can see, then you have this pin sticking out a little bit more. So what you're gonna wanna do then is use the SIM card injector tool that they give you. And you're just gonna push this part here just in enough so that way that pin just kind of gets small again. And then there you go. And that's it. So it's a real easy process, guys, but the trick is to kind of, like I said, lift up that link a little bit. So that way it releases that pin. So then all you got to do is now that you have it on, is just put it back on the watch. So I'll just slide it back on there. And now there we have it. And then obviously in my other video, I talked about how these are magnetic clasp. The clasp is very strong. So then it will stay on guys. I mean, I've literally done yard work. I've ran a couple of miles with this watch band on. It's very comfortable, very lightweight. But like I said, I wanted to focus on removing those links. So let me know if that helps guys. I hope it did. Um, but hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. I do try to post videos at least uh, once a week. I did get a bunch of new stuff shipped to me. Um, so I am looking forward to sharing all of those fun new goodies that uh, I received. So definitely keep your eyes open for all that. So be safe, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.